Hey guys, it's Kayla from the Canadian Real Estate Channel. You're used to seeing me virtually, but today we are in person in the Niagara region. I'm actually standing outside of the building I used to work with in, which is the MTO head office. Down the street, we're downtown St. Catharines. You got the Meridian Center, you got the First Ontario Performing Arts Center, and a bunch of really delicious restaurants. So today we're going on a tour to give you guys a good idea of where to invest in the Niagara region, where I'm investing. I have a lot of people from out of town looking to invest in the Niagara region and capitalize on what's happening here. And today we thought we'd show you around so you had a better idea of where you're looking to invest. Today we're in Thorold. We're taking you on a tour of where I live, but also a hidden gem in the Niagara region. It's not very big, there's only 20,000 of us here, but I wanted to give you a tour because there are some great investing opportunities here and it's the one city in the area that's surrounded by Niagara Falls, Welland, St. Catharines, the ones that everyone's familiar with but not so much so with Thorold. So right now we're in the downtown core. It is basically two streets, but there are some gorgeous buildings, lots of really, really old, uh, like 100 year old buildings here, but also, as you can see, a lot of new ones too. So lots happening in the, in the Thorold area. Um, I'm gonna turn here and show you kind of the one uh, pharmacy grocery store. But the one thing to remember about Thorold is you are a five minute drive from St. Catharines, you are a 12 minute drive from Welland, and you're about 12 from Niagara Falls as well. So you are very central from you know the big cities in the area. And as you can see, there's been a lot of uh, new real estate built. This is actually a new vet's office, interestingly enough, it's massive. And then you'll see the grocery store, the pharmacy, and all of that good stuff. And then I'm gonna take you into the more residential area. And you'll see that this area is surrounded by multifamilies. There are big, these guys are several units. And there's also a lot of uh, duplexes and triplexes in the area. So definitely some opportunity if you're looking for purpose built. This one on the right here, that was a flip on the market now. So definitely people are doing stuff in the region. So definitely don't sleep on Thorold. What are some things you see here in Thorold that you might not see in St. Catharines? I know the last property, it was like five split. Is that like a regular thing here in Thorold? Yeah, so the one interesting thing about Thorold, I think, is that there's so much, so many different styles of houses. Like a lot of areas will have a very standard, you know, layout, etc. But Thorold, because of how it was built, there's a lot of new stuff. There's the five level back splits that were built at a certain time. A lot of bungalows, for sure. Um, and then and, you know some some purpose-built multis as well so this area that we're in right now is actually um, about a five minute drive to Brock and about 10 minutes on the bus route so certainly some opportunity with some student housing as well if that's you know if that's what you look what you're looking to get into um, so this area specifically you'll see beside me there's a massive new build there and the prices in Thorold have been, you know, on par with the increases that we've seen across the Niagara region as well. Uh, definitely no, uh, no trouble here if you can pick up a good deal to do a successful burr, flip, or, um, you know, long-term hold, etc. A lot of these houses too, it's, these are very sought after um, by families too. So if you do get into like the flip market and you can do a nice flip, you certainly won't have any trouble uh, you know selling it once you're done so this is kind of the second main street in Thorold that we're coming up to so you'll see that there's a school here there's schools as we make our way down 
and then I'm going to bring you into the newer area um, because there is a lot of land in Thorold and therefore a lot of uh, space to grow and opportunity to do so. So we're going to head into um, an area called Winterberry which has been built up substantially over the past five to ten years. Um, so a lot of purpose-built student housing, lots of really big family houses in here and you'll also be able to see the fact that they're continuing to build. Um, so yeah, just on our right here we will be turning but you can see all of those houses <laughs> and the ones that are still being built in this area so I'll just loop around so you can get a feel for it because in that area it's an interesting mix of, of like I said big single-family detached houses, a lot of townhouses and then you have these luxury bungalows that are going to be across the street and then my area over here which is not quite as new but similar style so luxury town or town uh, bungalows over here are being built and then we are in one of the newer areas of Thorold however not the newest there is one being built to the left of this but you can definitely see kind of the mix of of housing and the one thing about Thorold, because it is such a small, small place, there is so much land to build, so I don't see how we're going to stop here, especially with, you know, the influx of people moving to the Niagara region and uh, investors looking to invest here as well. So certainly, if you're in the market for student housing, this area is, is pretty uh, sought after because these were purpose-built with, you know, seven bedrooms, four bathrooms, etc. So definitely nice, um, new builds, and uh, just a little bit of a different feel than the area that we were just in. City is not the easiest to work with. I would say similar to St. Catharines, you'll hear um, you'll hear some complaints just about timelines mostly. Um, they are working on some new legislation, uh, which should make it a little bit easier to do some conversions and whatnot here. But if you're looking for you know a purpose-built multi or a student rental, this area would be definitely sought after and the rents you can get in the area are quite high as well. Um, the rents in Thorold would rival St. Catharines no problem. I've previously done a video about that so there's definitely lots of information um, available on the channel about that. And then so we're driving into the area that's called Confed. This was the new area before those ones were built. Um, but I just want to take you to another pull to the Niagara region which could be a big Airbnb play. So this area was highly populated with students, but um, a little less so now. But there are quite a few of these houses that were purpose-built with um, an additional dwelling unit in the basement. So it made it more affordable for families to, to move in and then rent out the basement. And because there is such a large clientele of rentals in the area, or looking for rentals in the area because of Brock and because of the proximity to uh, to St. Catharines. For anyone that lives in, you know, lives in Thorold and works in St. Catharines, your max drive would be 20 minutes and well and basically the same thing. These houses here are all about, I would say, 15 to 25 years old. Still room to grow in this area as well. They've built a few new ones. And then on the right hand side is actually those houses were all built about 50 years ago. Um, some within the last, you know, within the last 30 to 40, but that would be considered a bit of an older area. I suspect that something will be built here. Um, they did flatten it and get rid of all the green uh, greenery there, but it has since grown back. I've uh, looked into it with the city, but I suspect we will see plans in the near future of you know what's going to go there because I don't suspect they will leave it an empty field forever and on my right there is going to be a whole area of super modern houses which is so funny for Thorold and one of the ones that didn't sell right in the front there <laughs> and then last but certainly not least we are driving into my favorite little part of Thorold here that uh, so this is about a 10 minute walk from my house there are a bunch of little lakes in this area um, and it's just one of those things that you don't really think when you're super close to a big city yeah, several big cities that you would have these so this is Gibson Lake and it runs you know throughout 
um, and there is there's a little community back there and if you're thinking like Airbnb play you know potentially down the road when Thorold has some you know legislation in regards to that wouldn't it be great to stay with the house backing onto water and also you know a 15 minute drive to the falls you're 10 minutes from St. Catharines you're you know, you're just close to everything, but still getting, you know, kind of that cottage vibe back here. So definitely uh, some opportunity for that, in my opinion. This is definitely my favorite area of Thorold. And there are some cottage size houses back here. There's some, you know, definitely some really, really nice family homes as well. And you can see on either side, you're backing on to at least this one. And then this one backs onto the water and then the road, that one just backs onto water. So super nice and just a variety of different types of housing. That would be the tour of Thorold or at least my favorite parts of it. And now we are going to take a trip to Brock, where uh, Brock, which is in Thorold, um, just to see the super, super nice modern facilities that they've built for the Canada Summer Games, which will be here in the summer of 2022. Um, definitely opportunity for those that own and will own Airbnb in the area. There will be a ton of people here and a ton of people staying for quite a while. For those of you that aren't familiar with the Canada Summer Games, it's basically the Olympics for younger people um, in Canada. So definitely opportunity there. This is a development for the Canada Summer Games. I have mentioned it on the channel before. The reason why I think this is so super important is because every area in the Niagara region got a facility or a facility was redone or enhanced, etc., bringing a lot of value. This was a joint effort between the feds, the provincial government, Niagara region, the city of Thorold. And as you can see, it is kind of like a little more modern than what Thorold's used to seeing. So this is a massive facility. The city of Thorold will have use of it for different things. And if you look to the other side, you will see Brock University, which will also have access to it. And then this is the Niagara region building beside us. So definitely offers some potential for one Airbnb if you own or you're planning on owning anywhere in the area. You will have uh, a lot of bookings come the summer because there's a lot of athletic events in the Niagara region, the Canada Summer Games being the biggest. It'll bring about 45,000 people to the area, 22,000 athletes. And there's the Canada Summer Games incorporate a bunch of different uh, different events too, and it spans over you know a, a course of a few weeks. But also, what this adds to the area is just value. So you see a facility this nice and this big, you know it's going to bring in other events down the road, which will also obviously help you. Um, and the other thing we wanted to touch on, so with Brock here, one thing with universities, they are a little strapped for space. However, Brock is not. So Brock is going to continue growing as it has been in the last several years. They are expanding, they are getting more students. In the background there, you'll actually see their new residence that they built. That means that they are anticipating a lot of new first years to live in it. So definitely opportunity from an investment standpoint. Absolutely freezing out here, so we're gonna go do the tour of downtown St. Catharines now. Hey guys, just to give you an idea of uh, how close Thorold and St. Catharines really is, right now we are at a red light and we are in Thorold. Just give me one sec here because Based off this welcome to St. Catharines sign, we are now in St. Catharines. <laughs> so you can see it is very, very close. You can see Brock beside me, very much so on the border of St. Catharines and Thorold. I would say each city kind of stakes a claim on it. And we are going to go down this hill and we're gonna go into uh, St. Catharines basically the lower part of the city um, and then we're gonna head downtown. This is a new uh, student residence as I mentioned so this is gonna be huge for Brock. It's gonna allow them to house a lot of new first year students as well there was a there was a fire at one of their residents so this will this is kind of taking care of the space that they lost as they rebuild that so we are going into the Glenridge area of St. Catharines as we make our way down this hill 
lots of uh, lots of student rentals in that area but also a lot of really gorgeous family homes in that area and it's a pretty easy walk if you like walking up hills <laughs> to Brock for the students but there's also buses that uh, that run up here so not a huge issue the one thing I find with the St. Catharines and Thorold too is that there's no real division of uh, you know good and bad areas it's kind of they're all mixed together there's only one area that I wouldn't invest in myself in, in here to my left however so this church is for sale for anyone looking to get into condo development, there's your chance. Uh, 22 units have been proposed, so definitely an opportunity there. All right, so we are on Glen Ridge in the Glen Ridge area. As you can see, there are multi-families lining both sides of the street. Definitely a great place to invest. You'll never have an issue finding renters in this area, especially now that everyone's back to school in person for the most part. Yeah, definitely. You can kind of see the difference here between St. Catharines and Thorold. Yeah, <laughs> it's a little busier, but certainly anyone that travels to St. Catharines for, for work or anything wouldn't, you know, wouldn't not consider Thorold as a great place to, uh, to live because it is so close. What are the average age of properties around here compared to Thorold? Um, so St. Catharines has a big mix as well, but in that area you're looking at about 50 to 60, but there are some new builds in the area. These, the purpose-built multis were built a little bit after that. And as we drive, uh, you know, into the old Glen Ridge, we're actually going to get into some really, really expensive new builds, but also some, you know, century homes, 100-year-old homes that are quite lovely. There are, on the right-hand side, new buildings going up. So those are going to be luxury rentals. And you can just see the, you know, the growth in the area. So they are anticipating, builders don't uh, start building before they do their research. So that's always a really good indication that they are expecting enough people to fill those. Um, and that has a lot to do with one, where it is in the proximity to Brock, because we all are also very close to Niagara College. Um, but also just the influx of uh, people to the area as you know we are workplaces are more open to work from home scenarios so people did move out of you know bigger cities into smaller ones to capitalize on their investments so definitely opportunity there yeah all those multifamilies that's you know 50 to 60 years old that's kind of exciting because like Maybe they're not up for sale now, but you're developing relationships with those mm -hmm. owners and when they're ready to sell, like you could be the, the type of person to hop on those deals. Yeah, absolutely. We've seen some of them go up. Uh, you know, people had that had purchased these multis a, a long time ago are looking to capitalize on, you know, what's happened in the market. But if you're getting into a multi that size, cash flow really, you know, isn't an issue because you have so many um, units to kind of offset the price. And then, yeah, so now we're in what's called Old Glen Ridge. Um, and these are, there's a lot of really old homes in this area, but a lot of new builds as well. And these, this is a, a more expensive uh, area of St. Catharines, but it is obviously quite nice. Lots of families in this area that will, you know, it's a very sought after area in St. Catharines and it's quite close to downtown and also quite close to Brock. So it's kind of a unique area in that regard. This is a good area for anyone that has a larger flip budget. Um, while these houses are, are more expensive, a lot of them have, uh, are quite dated inside and people, they're starting to move out of them and they can sell for quite a lot. So if, you know, if your budget allows for it, this is an area that might make sense for a flip just because of what you can get out of these houses because they are in such a nice area and a lot of them do happen to be quite dated inside. And down there is the highway, so that's the 406. So again, kind of no matter where you are in the Niagara region, you're somewhat close to a highway, which is nice. It's pretty accessible in that regard. And then in front of us is the downtown core. So downtown St. Catharines has the Meridian Center where the ice dogs play. It has a performing arts center for Brock. And then it also has a lot of super trendy 
companies and restaurants and businesses. So lots of buildings that have already been developed, purchased, are getting new restaurants, etc. But also a lot of room for expansion for other businesses as these buildings go up for sale. And I think you said Thorold was like 40,000 people. What's the size of Cap St. Um, Thorold is actually, I mean, the last time they did it was about 19,000. Um, and St. Catharines is about 157. So vast difference. Um, but certainly, like I said, if I was, if I was from, if I didn't live in Thorold, I would consider them to be the same thing. And if anyone knows Beachwood Donuts, it's right there. So it's definitely a lot of old buildings, but it kind of brings a certain charm to the area. Um, a lot of them have been renovated on the inside, are super trendy. And then the Performing Arts Center, which is new, is on the right. That was built about six years ago and does bring a lot of, uh, a lot of people to the area. And then on my left, this is the, M the MTO's head office, one of two. Um, so a lot of you know great jobs in that building, lots of people, and um, definitely a draw to the area. The Niagara region as a whole is mostly hospitality, as this, just that's just the you know the landscape of it. But there are you know the medical side of things. They are building a new hospital in Niagara Falls right now, which will offer a lot of uh, opportunity there and then as well there's the the Niagara College you have Brock you have the government buildings and then we do do a lot of like manufacturing mechanical as well so the trades are quite big in the Niagara region too um, so definitely a, a good mix if you will so this is a this is downtown this is a big mix of uh, commercial and res a lot of these buildings and houses are uh, you can do either or in so it certainly offers an opportunity there for anyone that's looking to maybe do an office and res units office and airbnb etc and then you have some condo buildings and then we're going to go to the east chester area that i mentioned in the video uh, previous video just to kind of give you a feel of a more affordable entry point for real estate investing that is seeing some breweries uh, pop up, which is usually a great sign if we're, you know, following the trajectory of other areas. So let's head there. So this is Geneva. This is one of the busier streets in the Niagara region, or sorry, in the, no, that's a lie. This is one of the busier streets in St. Catharines. I'm actually gonna turn here just to show you guys that on my right, the Niagara Regional Police just built a gorgeous building. And this is in an area that I would definitely consider to be up and coming. You can see there's a lot of empty lots, some houses that could use some love, but definitely some opportunity in this area as well. Is there any neighborhoods that you would suggest people don't invest in in St. Catharines, or is it all like everything's good? Um, so certainly there, the Queenston area is kind of hit and miss. It depends on your appetite for risk because it is right downtown, which means that eventually it should see the same type of turnover that we've seen everywhere else. Um, some gentrification that will increase the house prices and likely bring you a good return on your money. Um, but currently it is, uh, it's definitely in the, the market for some, some work. So I don't ever tell anyone to invest. I just, or where and where not to invest. I just ask them like what areas from an ABC perspective do you feel like, you know, um, where your appetite for risk lays. So definitely uh, some opportunity there, but also a little bit more risk. So we are in the East Chester neighborhood and to my right is the off market that was mentioned in the video. So this will be coming on the market, off the market, February, 2022. We're just waiting for some work to be done. So if you're interested in a um, single family home with a legal accessory dwelling unit, three bed up, two bed down, that's your opportunity right there. So we are in the East Chester neighborhood still, and I mentioned this in the video because I think it's a pretty interesting area. It's, it's industrial, but it's also one of the lower price points to enter if you're looking to invest in the Niagara region. 
and also it does offer um, there's some interesting businesses popping up that would indicate it's going to be a pretty trendy area very shortly so we are going to drive by some of the houses but also some of the businesses and you can see that these houses are they're well taken care of they're well loved and you are the proximity to the highway here is a stone's throw which some people may think that that might be a deterrent but for a lot of people that's actually a draw especially if you're commuting it makes it very very easy to get where you need to go so there are um, a lot of single families in this area but they do offer the opportunity for a legal secondary dwelling unit some of them are zoned for a legal conversion to a duplex so definitely a mix of opportunity here the street we are on now is that we're turning onto is Grantham so Grantham actually houses a lot of businesses as you can see but what it also houses is a new trendy brewery which will be coming up on my left here so i'll slow down a bit so you can get a feel for it so anytime a brewery pops up pops up in a neighborhood that's usually a good sign and a lot of young people moving into this area because it is more affordable for first-time home buyers as well um, and there seems to be a you know a transition away from the idea that living in an industrial area is not necessarily a good thing it's now perceived to be very trendy and I think that this is going to offer um, a very unique opportunity for people that buy here while it might not be quite where everywhere else in St. Catharines is yet I definitely see it going that way so definitely a hot spot to invest in my opinion so we are just gonna head down to so we will be on Herrick Avenue in St. Catharines um, so this is also very close to the highway you're close to downtown probably like a B minus area at the moment but they're making some definite uh, changes to the area you'll see as we are making our way down here so on the right hand side they're building a very lovely condo and you will be able to see that they have the site all blocked off boots on the ground in there they're in their kind of initial phases so that's set to uh, be built in 2023 and then you'll see here we actually enter an area with all new really nice houses so the one unique about thing about the niagara region is that there is so much space so you'll see these brand new areas popping up in areas that maybe before weren't quite as sought after which are raising the value of the houses surrounding it and you can see these are very modern nice houses so definitely some opportunity here as well so we are making our way back to Thorold from St. Catharines so we are in the Meriton area and you can see a lot of historic buildings a lot of old buildings it's also very commercial so lots of restaurants the Penn Center which would be one of the bigger malls in the Niagara region is coming up and then the stone mill will actually be on your right which is uh historic for it's a hotel it's got a restaurant in it it's quite nice they do weddings but we're gonna go straight up this small hill in front of us and we will be back into thorold as an investment oriented realtor of course we have a list of contractors electricians plumbers etc etc so if you guys are looking for that it's one of the number one questions i get because a lot of the investors come from out of the city so they're not super familiar with the contractors in the area we are happy to provide it so you can definitely reach out to us below and uh, we're happy to send our preferred list of contractors etc that we've worked with who do an amazing job and have been you know in part of the reason why our birds have been successful as they have been all right guys so that's the tour thanks for coming along if you're interested in investing in the Niagara region or learning more about what it looks like to invest here you can reach out to me the links are below and we'll see you guys in the next video thanks